Hello, Paul Halliday for Learn Ionic 2, and today we're going to be looking at brightness and controlling that on our device. So, to get started, ensure you've made a new app with Ionic Start Brightness Blank dash dash V2. I'll make a new Ionic 2 app based on the blank template, and then we can add the Cordova and Ionic Native modules. So, let's run Ionic Plugin Add. Cordova plugin brightness. We then need to install the Ionic native plugin for brightness, so npm install dash dash save at Ionic dash native slash brightness. That'll save the Ionic native brightness module to our project. We can then open up in VS Code. And as usual, the first thing we have to do when using an Ionic native plugin is to import it inside of our app module. So import from at Ionic native brightness, we need to import the brightness provider. So import brightness and add it inside of our providers like that. We're done in this file now, so we can head over to our homepage. I'm gonna build out the template. So I'm gonna change the title from Ionic blank to homepage. I'm also going to add a color to the navbar. I'm feeling blue. So inside of our ion content, we're going to have a card. So ion cards. Inside of the card, we'll have a header. And the header will say brightness. And inside the ion card content, we will have an ion range. So an ion range is going to have the color of secondary. And the min range will be zero for zero brightness. And the max range will be 10. Now you could put this at 100 or 1000. It just depends on how accurate you want to be with your brightness. I'm going to round mine anyway, so I'm just going to put it at 10. And for each step, we'll make it once on the scale. So each step on the range will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. The range is going to have two labels. The first axes will be range left of zero, and the second one will be range right, and that'll be one. We'll also need a change event on the range, so when somebody moves the range up or down, we'll need to call a particular function. That function will be set brightness, so ion change, and we'll hammer that to set brightness, like that. The set brightness function will also need a brightness that we're editing here, so we'll also need an ng model. And for our ng model, we'll simply have brightness. Now we can go inside of our component and wire this all together. So for now, I'm going to make our set brightness function. I'm just going to leave it empty. And I'm also going to make our brightness at the top here. So brightness. And that's going to be a number. If you've worked with Ionic Native plugins before, you'll know that we have to import from Ionic Native brightness the brightness provider. And then we have to inject it inside of our constructor. So I'm going to say private bright brightness. So the brightness scale for the Cordova plugin simply looks like this. Zero is the lowest brightness that you can get. One is the highest brightness that you can get. And minus 1.0 is the system default brightness. Now you can't step up in floating point values. So we couldn't have this as a minimum of zero and a max of one and we step up in 0 0.1. So instead, we have to take this value and divide it by 10. So back in our set brightness then, we can have a new brightness. And that's going to be equal to whatever the brightness is, divided by 10. Simple enough. And then we can use this dot bright dot set brightness as simply the new brightness. Now set brightness does resolve a promise, so we could, if we wanted to, simply log out, you know, brightness set. But for now, I'm just going to simply leave it as set brightness. I don't really think we need to do anything with that, so we can just set the brightness to the new brightness. So if we run this on the device, to firstly run it on Android, we'll need to run Ionic Platform Add Android. I'll add the Android platform to the project. And then I'm going to run a live reload server on the device, so Ionic run Android-L. 
and then we'll be able to test our brightness on the device. So here we have our card with a range of 0 to 1. And if we move it along the screen, you can't see this right now, but the, the brightness is definitely moving from 1 to 0, and from 0 back to 1. So we've implemented the set brightness. Now I suppose we need to implement the get brightness. So let's get the brightness on the device. And this is going to resolve a promise. So you know me, I like to use async and await. So in our TS config, change your target to ES6. We can then make the async function get brightness. And we can resolve the promise of this dot bright dot get brightness. So for example, we can make a variable here. Let's current brightness is equal to this dot bright dot get brightness. And then once we resolve that promise with a weight, we can simply log out current brightness. If we make a button below the card, that simply says get brightness with the click event of get brightness. If we press get brightness, it becomes 1.0, and that's because my phone is currently as bright as it can be. If we move it in the middle, we get 0.6. If we move it a bit further, we should get about 8 or 9. And then if we move it really down, we get 0.2. So while you can't see on the screen, the brightness is being manipulated as we're moving the range up and down. Another thing that we can do with this plugin is to keep the screen alive. So let's make a function named toggle screen sleep like that. And we can basically say this dot screen sleep is equal to the opposite of this dot screen sleep. And that will be a boolean. So we'll just quickly make that up here. Screen sleep boolean. We'll initialize that to false. So every time we call this toggle button, it's going to say the screen sleep is the opposite of what it is right now. And then we'll use the this.bright, so we'll integrate it with the brightness plugin, and we'll say set to keep screen on to whatever that this.screen sleep is. Inside of our home.html, let's make a button for this. The click event will be toggle screen sleep. And for the text, we'll simply say screen sleep if the screen is on we'll say don't keep the screen on and if it's not on we'll say keep the screen on so you can see our button it's currently false so we're saying keep the screen on if we click that and make it true we get don't keep the screen on so you're toggling between whether you want to keep the screen on or off on my Android device at least, it doesn't appear that the set brightness is actually changing the brightness of the device itself. For example, if I put the brightness to zero and then I go off the application, the brightness goes back to what it was prior to setting it within the app. But then if I toggle back in, the brightness is still zero at the moment for this app. So that's something to keep in mind that you can't change the brightness of the entire phone but you can change the brightness of the device. So this is why when we're pressing get brightness, you might get inconsistent results if maybe your brightness is zero here, but on the phone it's one, i.e. you've got it maxed out on your phone, and you press get brightness, and you're wondering why it says zero, when it's obviously not zero. If you look at the brightness within the phone itself, it's because the brightness is restricted to this app only. Now, if this video has helped you and you found it useful, then hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more videos. And of course, check out learnionic2.com for more awesome Ionic tutorials. My name's Paul Halliday, and I'll see you in the next video.